The other day I got a question from one of the viewers of the channel and I thought his question was a really good question and I thought it deserved this quick video today. And the question was, how do I go about testing my tiling window manager configuration? How do I test something in my configuration? Well, this can be difficult. For one thing, say you're running Xmonad, for example, and Xmonad is the only window manager you have installed on your machine. Well, you don't want to go around and hack on that config, and there may or may not be errors in it, and the only way to test it out is to restart Xmonad, and if it works, great. If it doesn't work, well, your Xmonad session crashes. You get kicked back out to the login manager, assuming you have a login manager installed. And if you don't have another window manager or desktop environment to log into to fix your Xmonad config, well, now you're stuck, right? You have to drop to a TTY prompt, and then at the command line, then you have to go into Vim or Nano, back into your Xmonad config, find the error, fix the error, then log back into Xmonad and hope everything works. Well, there's an easier way to do this that doesn't involve crashing your current session, and that is using a program called Zephyr. Zephyr is one of the X11 programs, and it allows you to run a nested X session. Let me show you. Let me switch to my desktop here. I'm going to open up a terminal. Now, you probably don't have Zephyr already installed by default on your Linux installation because the entire X11 suite of programs is very big, very bloated. You don't have everything installed by default on most Linux distributions. So you probably need to install Zephyr. How you do this on Ubuntu and Debian machines, the package you need to install, I believe, is called xserver-zephyr. On Arch-based distros, you need to install xorgs-server-zephyr. I already have this installed on my machine, so I am ready to go. Now, typically, if you're unsure to run something, I always tell you guys the best place to go and find information for something is the Arch Wiki. So if I go and pull up the Arch Wiki page for Zephyr, the page is extremely small. Just a few lines of text. There's really not much to it. But to be honest, just using the few commands that they provide us here in the Arch Wiki is fine. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you Zephyr in action. So this is the command that the Arch Wiki recommended, Zephyr space dash BR, which makes the root window, the default background, black, because by default the X11 root window for some reason is this weird, like, woven pattern. You probably don't want that. Space dash AC, this disables, I think, access control. It's to be able to access this nested window or this nested X session remotely. Then we have dash no reset and then dash screen. Now this is setting the resolution. I just picked 800 by 600. If you wanted to, you could pick a bigger resolution. And then colon one. One thing I'll add to this command that the Arch Wiki suggested, add a ampersand at the end of this line because there are gonna be some more commands that we will run after this one. Anyway, run that and it launches a new nested X11 session. You see the black window here. Actually, let me make this floating. And that way you can see that it's actually 800 by 600 pixels. I'm gonna zoom back out slightly on the font. And I'm gonna run the command export display equals colon one. Run that. And then what do we actually want to run in this nested X session? That should be the next command. So you can run anything. Right now I am in Qtile, right? So I am running Qtile for my window manager today. What if I wanted to hack on my Qtile config? And there might be errors in it. I don't want to just hack on my config restart Qtile. If there's errors, then, you know, my window manager is completely boogered up, or sometimes it might even crash and kick me back out to the login manager. No, before I actually put this into real use, I want to test it out in this nested X session. So I'm just going to launch Qtile. Now, if I wanted to, I could just type Qtile space ampersand and hit enter, and Qtile will launch in this Zephyr window. But I wanted to specify 
a path to a different config file other than the one I'm currently using. And the reason I'm doing that is because in the config that I'm about to use, it is using a different mod key. In my main machine, on, on my configuration, I use the super key, but the config file I'm pointing this to uses the alt key for the mod key. And the reason I'm doing this and the reason you have to do this is because if both the host machine and the nested X session have the same mod key, every time you hit super, it is going to do that command on the host machine. It is not going to register at all in that Zephyr window. So make sure if you're testing out a tiling window manager and you're also using a tiling window manager, have the nested X session use a different mod key. That's very important. Anyway, let me hit enter. And I just launched Qtile in this window here. You see this is the Qtile config. This is actually the default Qtile config. I set the mod key to Alt. So if I do Alt S, it changes to the S works workspace. Alt D changes to the D workspace. Alt F, etc, etc. I'm going to go back to the A workspace. If I do Alt Enter, you know, it's going to open up a terminal. If I Alt Enter again, it opens up a second terminal, although they're in monocle mode right now. I think if I do Alt Tab, it will put me in stack mode. And then I have two windows side by side. I could launch HTOP in one of these windows if I can type HTOP correctly. Now, the great thing about using something like Zephyr to test out a piece of software is that you, of course, can get some output in the terminal. In the terminal window, for example, right now I'm getting some error messages or some warnings really saying I have some unmet dependencies for some of the widgets that I am using in the default config here that I'm running. Apparently in this configuration that I loaded up in the Zephyr window, I'm trying to use a MPD widget, but MPD is not actually installed, so it's letting me know about that. It's also giving me some other errors. I wanted to test out a different window manager, maybe with a different screen resolution. I'm going to launch a different Zephyr session here, and this time I'm going to make the resolution 1024 by 768. I'm going to hit enter, and now you resize the window, make it floating, and this time I'm going to export the display to colon 1, and this time let's do xmonad space ampersand. Now my xmonad config, you guys recognize my xmobar. This this would function just fine for xmonad, but my xmonad config currently uses the super key as the mod key. Qtile, which is the host session that I'm in, also uses super key for the mod key. So anytime, even if I have focus in the Zephyr window, if I hit super enter to launch a terminal, it's not going to actually launch it in the Zephyr window. So that is why it's very important for you guys to change the mod key. And let me kill all of that. So that was just a very quick look at Zephyr. I actually don't use Zephyr that much personally, even though it probably does make things easier. Oftentimes, I just hack on my configs and restart the window manager, and if it crashes on me, it crashes on me. You know, I, I just drop to a TTY and go back and undo the last thing I did. And But I often have multiple window managers installed on my systems too, so if I... For example, I'm editing my xmonad config and it crashes and it kicks me back to the login manager. Well, I'll just log into the awesome window manager, right? And then fix my xmonad config, log back out and log back into xmonad. But Zephyr does make a lot of sense. Before I go, I need to thank a few special people. This show was made possible by Chris, DJ Donnie, Dylan, George, Haplo, Nate, Corbinian, Lambda, Michael, Mitchell, Rob, Sean, Stallman, and Willie. These guys are the producers of the show. They're my highest tiered patrons over on Patreon. Without these guys, this episode about Zephyr wouldn't have been possible. The show is also brought to you by all those other fine ladies and gentlemen, all those names you're seeing on the screen right now that help support my work over on Patreon. Without those guys, this channel wouldn't be possible you'd like to support the channel, please consider doing so. You'll find me at DistroTube over on Patreon. All right, guys. Peace.